We recognize things visually by their shape, their size, and their color. Each object, however, gives off its own distinct odor. Strong odors, coffee, paint thinner, we can sense and recognize. But if an odor is faint, or if it's masked, or mixed up with a thousand other odors, we can't sense it. We certainly can't see it. The odor is just a part of the air we breathe, and it passes us by, completely unnoticed. But not a dog. Dogs can pick out odors at concentrations lower than even our most sophisticated machines can measure. And a carefully bred, scientifically trained dog can sense and follow the vapor wake a moving object leaves in the air behind it, several minutes after the object has left the space. To a vapor wake detection dog, even faint odors are as clear and tangible as brightly colored ribbons. Far more sensitive, far more adaptable, and far more mobile than any machine, vapor wake dogs represent years of research by doctors and scientists at Auburn University's College of Veterinary Medicine. We've got a female 5'4", black cat, red hair, gray shirt, with a backpack on the concourse just past Gady. Copy that. I see her. We'll take it from here. You know, we've all seen it at the airport, at the train station. You see the bomb-sniffing dog checking the suitcases and the bags on the ground. But what if the explosives are strapped to a suicide bomber or hidden in a backpack? Bomb detection dogs aren't capable of tracking a moving target. Until now, we got a first-hand look at Vapor Wake Dogs, the latest technology. No batteries required. Welcome to Los Angeles International Airport. With the canine program, the training was always nose down, looking at articles, suitcases, abandoned backpacks, etc. But the recognition is that people carry bombs and they're moving targets. Moving targets that killed 184 people in Madrid in 2004. And more than 50 people during coordinated attacks in London in 2005. But it was the attempted airplane bombing over Detroit on Christmas Day 2009, the so-called underwear bomber that prompted well Chief Downing to bomber. change tactics. If he had been walking through an airport where a vapor wake dog had been stationed, would that have made a difference? Absolutely. Absolutely would have made a difference. And I think that was the one event that really made us start thinking about how do we counter that. They turned to the veterinary college at Auburn University, where vapor wake dogs are put through a rigorous six-month regimen. The dogs go through obstacle Ooh, courses the until they're comfortable climbing over baggage or searching under counters or picking up a vapor trail and chasing it down. And that's a game changer. That's a game changer. Is this a, a trend that you see growing? Yeah, I think we've recognized it. TSA's recognized it, that it's the way to go because you have a dog that will do both now. And Auburn has a program that can be made for what you want. It's not a standard program where, okay, I need stuff to be made for me for the train station. So I go down to Auburn and say, hey, look, I want to do this, I want to do that. They come up with a program for that. Nobody else else in the country does that. Auburn has a very high profile program. They're looking out to the future. Their focus is on what we can do to do better. 